I'm talking with Basil Alwyn. He's the president of the IP division for Alcatel-Lucent. And uh, Basil, you guys have announced the FP3, the, yeah. the chip that basically turns the 7750 into what used to be called the terabit router. Right. So can we call you a core router company now? Uh, actually, technically a two terabit router. Two terabit router. Uh, in oh, the right. 7750, we've announced today the two port, 100 gig uh, card. Can we call it a core router? Well, you've asked me that many times. <laughs> and uh, as yeah. you know, uh, the SR12 continues to be used in core applications from time to time. Okay. It's, used in, it's used in some cores, but well, is, is it a core, core router? Um, you, know you, know, you know, I would say it this way. I would say from a silicon point of view, service routing mm -hmm. silicon, what we're demonstrating today, FP3, has, has intercepted core routing silicon in, in performance. Okay. So we now have the foundation to do absolute density parity or better than core routers. And in fact, if you look at the density of the SR12, it is in fact denser than the current core routers, interestingly, with this announcement. So that may lead you to believe that we have what's required now to build uh, a platform. However, core routing, the biggest cores need a few more features, multi-chassis okay. and those types of things. Right. And we're not announcing anything regarding that today. Okay. Right. All right. Now, I can, I can believe that you had th this high level in the roadmap back in 2000, 2001. Yeah. Did you? No. Did you? <laughs> I can believe you did. <laughs> at some point, though, there has to, I mean, you haven't changed the, the back plane or the, you're using, you're using the same chassis as years ago. There has right. to be some wall that you're going to hit where you have to change the back plane or change the switch right. fabric or something. Right. How close is that wall? Right. Actually, what, what people don't maybe know as much, because we don't generally make a lot of announcements about it, is that we've, mm -hmm. we've updated the 7750 over and over through, the, through time. So to keep okay. it leading edge. So actually, the 7750 equipment has gone through quite a few upgrades, and all the way from PEMS to cooling uh, to the CPMs, uh, the CPMs now, the CPM processors, the ION processors, so we're constantly updating that platform. And the, with this, actually, we're way ahead of, we're way ahead of okay. what the market needs in service routing in edge routing today. And, and I have to say, um, if you asked me three, four years ago, mm -hmm. we're going to be shipping a two terabit density kind of card in the SR12, I would have said, gee, I, it's hard to imagine because we have to break through some technological barriers. And, but we're doing that all the time with the 7750. The 7750 was the first modern multi-service IP routing platform and remains a leading edge platform. And that's, that's really what this demonstration is about, to show the staying power of this platform. Okay. You know? Okay, so, but it's not exactly the same box. It's not out of gas. Had. It's not out of gas. And it's certainly not. We started, okay. we started as I, I think we talked uh, oh, earlier about, uh, we started as a 200 gig routing platform, the entire chassis. Now mm -hmm. we've got that in a card. Okay. Pretty amazing. So now that you can do 100 gig interfaces, the question yeah. comes up, 400 gig or terabit, which yeah. one do we do next? Because some people think we should just go straight to terabit because it's going to be so much harder. Right, right. Well, that's an interesting question. I mean, I, I honestly, you know, um, with, with this announcement today, FP3, mm -hmm. we are demonstrating in, you know, up and running on a 400 gig single stream technology. That means one set of tables, lookup mm -hmm. tables, and we're delivering true 400 gig. However, and, and from the optical point of view, because this is always an IP and optical question, it's not okay, just right. it's not just an uh, right. uh, IP question. From an optical point of view, we, the technology we're using for coherent, coherent 100 gig, where we've done a lot of work at Alcatel-Lucent, mm -hmm. uh, applies very nicely to 400 gig. So we have a very, I think, nice path to 400 gig. Okay. The step to terabit is qu quite a bit, quite a further distance in both regards. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have to push some real technology envelopes again. And so I think the time to get to, to cost-effective terabit is going to be a bit longer, and it's going to make 400 a pretty much a workhorse technology. I mean, they're both going to be important, mm -hmm. but you know, we, we got a little, little ground to cover before we can get to terabit okay. as an industry. All right. Well, Basil, yeah. thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you, Craig.